Okay, so in this last video here, we're going to talk about an influential point. Now, outliers might be influential points, or they might just be outliers that can be discarded. So let's talk about what an influential point is. An influential point is a point, if removed, drastically changes y hat, also known as the line of best fit, or the regression line. Yep, uh, an influential point, if removed, drastically changes the y prime line. So to test to see if a point is influential or not, we first of all find the outlier, then we take the linear regression t-test and get the um, line of best fit, and then we um, check to see what happens when we remove the outlier and then check the linear regression line again using our calculator. So let's look at the following data. Now the first thing we need to do is to identify what the outlier actually is. Now I've typed this data into my list 1 and list 2 of the calculator. Okay, so I've got everything in list 1 and list 2 into the calculator here and here. Now just by looking at the data in list 1 and list 2, we maybe not get a good example of what that looks like. But I'm going to make sure that I have my y equals cleared out. Notice I have this from um, our previous work here. So make sure that all of this is cleared out. Make sure my plot one is on. And if I want to double check, go to second y equals. Okay, take a look there. Make sure my plot one is on. And then this is really going to favor those who have the graphing calculators because you can use the zoom and then the, the um, stat command. So notice that if you click the zoom key and click 9, this will allow you to see the data zoomed to its best domain and range. So you see here's my outlier. I can now click the trace key and by moving the cursor left and right, or in this case, let's see, up or down, which way can I, okay, moving to the right, moving to the right, oh, it looks like that outlier is at negative 638 on my X and 4604 on my Y. Now, if you didn't have that trace command, what you can do is just look along your X values and see the one that sticks out. And it would be this one, because as you see, it's way off of the other. So here is my um, outlier. Now, what I need to do is I need to check my line of best fit with and without the outlier. So my y hat with, which I'm going to use as a subscript w, this is going to be just the linear regression t-test based on this data set. So I'm going to go stat, I'm going to go to my tests, I'm going to go to my linear regression t-test, scroll down to calculate, and I'm going to check my values here with my a and my B. So it looks like 2640.4 and negative 3.1. All right, so that is what I have for my A and my B. And so I'm gonna write this down here. So 2640.4 minus 3.1 X. Okay. So it looks like my fours got a little bit sketchy there. Let's make those a little nicer. Okay. Now we are gonna do this without. So I'm gonna go back to my calculator. I'm gonna go click on stat and enter. And I'm gonna go down to that 638. And I'm gonna hit delete. So that's gonna actually delete the point. But I also have to go over to my list two and delete that point two. Now if I go zoom nine, I can see that the calculator zoomed in much more closely on the points that we had there. And I'm gonna go to stat, tests, and linreg t test, and scroll all the way down to calculate. And I'm gonna check my A and my B value again, 2640.5. Okay, so it changed a little bit. And negative 3.1. All right, so if we zoom in on the decimals, you can see that the decimals will change a little bit, 
But what my without line, by taking out this outlier, my y equals uh, equation didn't change that much. 2640.5 minus 3.1x. So the conclusion is that this outlier at negative 638 comma 4604, there's my x and y coordinates, is not an influential point. Not an influential point. So let's look at our last example. This last example here is going to be entering this data. Now I just so happen to have it on my calculator as well. I happen to have loaded it into list 5 and list 6, so I'm going to go second 5. So there's my x values and go up here for second 6. And here are my y values. Alright, so if I hit zoom 9, I should be able to see that data and look at that outlier right there. If I hit trace, I see that is negative 1467 and 163. The first data point happens to be the outlier. So I'm going to quit out of this and circle my outlier. Okay, so here's the outlier right there. Okay, so now I'm going to find my y hat with and compare that to y hat without the outlier. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is do it with, since it's already there in my list 1 and list 2. I'm going to then go to stat and move over to tests and move up to the linear regression t-test. Scroll down to calculate. And now I see that my A value is 320.4 and my B value is 0.19. Okay, let's write that down. So it looks like my Y value is 320.4 plus my 0.19x. Now again we go to our calculator. We're going to go hit stat enter and we're going to delete that first x value and delete the corresponding y value. So now our data set just has everything but the outlier and if I went zoom 9 you would see that it focused in on those points without the outlier that was way to the left there. Um, so it's time to do my stat and check out my linear regression t-test and lo and behold we're going to go to my calculations here and you're going to see that my a and my b are much different. Negative 310.96 that's rounding to negative 311 if you rounded all this up here. Um, I'll, I'll do that. Negative 311 and then the B is 1.08. Oh my goodness. So it's a lot different. It's a lot different. My first of all, I mean the Y intercept going from positive to negative. All right. And then, oops, I don't need a decimal because it's 311.0. And then I'm going to add to that a 1.08, which is a lot different than 0.19. So the conclusion is that this negative 1467 comma 163 x and y value is an influential point all right now if you happen to take a look at those two graphs before and after before you you know took out the influential point you might have noticed that in the first example the outlier was kind of in line with all of the other dots, where in the second example, the outlier was not in line with all those dots. And that's another kind of easy way to see uh, if you have an influential point or not. And again, we didn't use any kind of like super statistical way of saying, well, it has to be this far away. We just, you know, like we just, you know, you can you can make a best guesstimate and see like, OK, 320 is a lot different than negative 311, and so is this slope from this slope. So definitely an influential point. And I thank you for watching this final video.